June is officially Pride Month, and HuffPost Live is doing a series of segments celebrating the queer community. And we all know who the L in LGBTQ stands for. Lesbians, of course, but perhaps not for long. You're listening to Think Out Loud on OPB. I'm Dave Miller. In 2010, a Portland bar called The Egyptian Room closed its doors, and the city's only bar that catered specifically to lesbians was shuttered for good. Portland is not alone. Lesbian bars and bookstores and spaces of all kinds are closing around the country, from Hollywood to Houston to Philadelphia. It is a little more challenging being a lesbian bar versus being just an anybody or just mainly gay male bar. We do constantly face sort of the threat or the pressure of getting squeezed out. Storms are brewing in Oklahoma. Where are you going? Everybody's heading to alibis. <laughs> this place ain't going anywhere. <laughs> Lots of different stuff happens here. People eat here. People fight here. People create here and vision and dream. Sometimes people sleep here. People make love here. That feels important. As we as a group become, have more integrity, we as individuals can also have more integrity and we become a lot less breakable than we have, we've been in the past. I wonder what the city would be like if, if the Esperanza wasn't here. Um, and I wonder if I would be doing what I was doing, but also if I was, how much more scary that would be for me. I am a different person within a completely different life had it not been for WOW. Yeah! <laughs> this beautiful structure today inspires us almost as much as its precious contents because this is the only building ever owned by a lesbian organization in this metropolitan area. It's the only institution that I know of that continues the values and beliefs that I started working in gay liberation for. Mm -hmm. And back then it was gay liberation. That's right. <laughs> That's right, it was. 